Hey guys, a buddy of mine, Dylan Michael, gave me a wraith to work on. Normally, I don't work on wraiths. They're kind of a pain to mess with. However, this one is a little bit uh, special. It's getting rear steering and a full install of a hacked Flysky GT3C. So, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. Take a look. These are the parts that are going into it. The axial universal joint axles, because I found those be better than CVDs, just my own personal preference. Got some incision steering pieces, servo mount, JX 46 kg 12 volt servo. You got some bearings, Vanquish servo horn, Vanquish servo mount, and more Vanquish parts. So let's get busy. Oh, yeah, the hacked Flask Guy GT3C, eight channels of awesomeness. Doing this project requires obviously taking off the wheels and tires. Got to take the old uh, lockouts off. And then the new axles go in, the new C-hubs and knuckles and all that go on. The servo mount just simply goes right onto there. Now, there may be a, a, some servo clearance issues up in the chassis. If the chassis has to be cut, I'm going to let Dylan take care of that. But as you can see, it does have a stock motor. It's probably going to get an upgrade, but not for this video. But anyway, let's get busy. For this part of the build, all I had to do was take off those ends and there they are there are your vanquish parts you have your uh bushings that go in there got bolts hardware the axle shafts and i didn't realize it but i had the uh bearing packets upside down he's got boca ceramic bearings wow very nice bearings i really <laughs> i didn't realize he bought ceramics oh well now I'm going to put these onto the axle and I'll show you guys what it's supposed to look like. As you put your stuff together, this is what you got to have. Notice the C hub. It's angled in at the top, out at the bottom. Notice the axle coming out is nice and flat. That is what you want right there. Now, also when you're doing this, don't forget there's a bearing that has to go in right there. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and put the other side together. Everything went together really smooth with this Vanquish stuff. The uh, inner 10 by 15 by 4 bearings that go right here were actually kind of really tight to get on the uh, stub axle. The outer bearings are a 5 by 11 by 4, and the bearing that goes right into here is a 5 by 11 by 4. So both sides are done. Now I can start working on steering mount and linkage. Now I've already put the links together. These are the servo mount tabs. They go on the servo plate and all that bolts into right here, these two raised areas. With the steering links on, you can see I kind of have a little bit of a really tight area right there. That part actually clears, but it's hitting on the diff cover. So if I put the link right here, the tie rod on the top, then I don't have clearance for the servo arm. So my option is down here. I'm going to do a little bit of clearancing on the ribs of the diff and try to get sufficient steering that way. I took an X-Acto knife and just kind of trimmed the ribs away. And that really helped the steering quite a bit. This is plenty good enough that I can go ahead and start working on the electronics. As far as working on the electronics, I've already done it. I kind of got wrapped up in the build. Here is your receiver box. And that's one of the receivers that's in it right there. It works with a hack flask guy, good for six channels. Got wires and stuff shoved all up in there. You have to take this bar out right here, two screws, use a two millimeter hex. And then that bar right there has to come out on both sides. That piece comes up and then you can take the lid and now you're into the receiver. Now the wiring had a few joints in it already. Not the prettiest, but I was able to use those rather than cutting into the wires and doing more damage to it so i did have to use a servo wire extension because of the receiver is so far away from the rear steer servo but other than that it's pretty much ready to finalize the nuts and bolts back here put the tires on and i'll show you guys how the steering works at this point it's ready for some steering tests let's see here four wheel steering Now I don't have the rear EPA turned all the way up on it. I never run my rear steer quite as much as the front, but you know, some people do. Now, front steer only, one button. Pull it back, 
you're in the four wheel steer back again rear steer only simple as that now when you're in four wheel steer just push this button right here and now you're in crab simple as that as far as the four wheel steer conversion goes that's actually pretty straightforward and it's all bolt on you know what I mean? Except for the radio that can control the rear steer correctly. So as far as the rear suspension compression uh, that's coming into the battery tray, that's for him to cut out if he wants to cut it out. Now, as far as the first drive on this, that's going to be him. Well, <laughs> let's take a look at that. Okay, Dylan's here fixing to hit that throttle. Hit it, dude. Sweet. Ooh, can it crab? Uh, not like that. Try the wall. You gotta love people with like loud exhausts, huh? They're just so cool. <laughs> You're wedged. Climb, man, it really is. Oh, almost had it, though. Almost? Grab it when you get up there like that. There you go. See if it'll crawl over. Oh. There you go. I love that. Nice. <laughs> Back and forth, crabbing, four wheel steering. It nice. Too. I might actually be pretty good at this in class three uh, like Sunday. We'll find out. If y'all let me run. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so operating a four-wheel steer vehicle be it a wraith or sex or even grimlock here it takes some practice you got to know when to go through the different modes of the steering when to go front steer only four-wheel steer crab or even rear steer only 
there are specific situations where all of those are needed to properly operate a four-wheel steering truck. Now, with the Hack GT3C, you can get to these modes real quick without even looking at the radio. You don't have to push a button and count the beeps, you know, as to what mode you're going to be in or any of that. It's real simple. It's right there. And once you get it memorized, you know, you'll be driving, beep, 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 beep. That radio just making all kinds of noise. And that's you, that's you selecting the different modes of steering. Now, in the description are links, probably on eBay, to different components and all that, where you can also convert your own Wraith or Bomber into rear steer. So take a look at that. And you know, guys, as always, thank you all for watching.